the Windmill World Masters has reached its penultimate stage, the semi-finals, and four of the top six seeds are still involved. In the first semi-final, which, like the previous round, is played over the best of three sets, Bob Anderson, the world number one, continues his challenge. Anderson, the reigning world champion and the 87 world match play title holder, is going for a World Masters hat-trick, and no one has achieved that yet. His opponent, Mike Gregory, who won his world match play crown two years ago, and he'll be after a News of the World hat-trick next time, and he's the current European Cup singles champion. Mike has never won the Masters, but he's won the first leg of the first set. He has the darts. Game on. Gregory then will be heartened by that, taking the first leg against the throw. And this is some start. <laughs> Top form here. It's a question of peaking at the right moment. And it could not be wow, Mike Gregory. At the moment. The reigning champion Anderson under some pressure. Now he Desperate chance to retrieve the situation. It must come for 104, treble 18 to leave the bullseye. He thinks he'll stay. Gets the treble left, double 16, but it might be too late the effort from Anderson. I agree. 18. That's the old guy to crack. Double four. 10 scores. Gregory. Uh, it looked like going out at 11 darts, but the chance to, he well sacrificed this leg. Yes. That's the second leg. All right. Third leg, ball to throw first. Game on, please. And, uh, well, what should we re-christen the limestone cowboy? Houdini would be a bad idea. 100. Uh, charm life, it has to be said against the Swedes, Magnus Karras, who had darts to double to take him out to uh, two zip. Yeah, Gregory really should have wrapped that one up. It might just affect his concentration. jail and really goes for it. So he doesn't sit back on his laurels. Shot travel 18 leaves the bullseye. He opted out playing the percentages because Gregory is on 260 and unable to check. And doing the sensible thing. Gregory, who seemed to be cruising, one up and looking at an 11 dart check out of the second leg, loses the first set. 13 darts, Bob Anderson checked in the deciding leg of that first set. And off he goes, and this is the chance of a maximum kick. 
Racing for record breaking third successive win and the 8,000 pound carrot. 100! Anderson, the champion, bidding for a place in his third successive Windmill World Masters final with the darts here. 60. Yeah, he did the difficult bit, taking the darts and the throw in the first leg of that second set for Mike Gregory. It hasn't really been going well at all for Michael. 85. Since he let that second leg of the first set slip away. Might be covered from that. Anderson finding. 100 level was a little loose until that last start in that final. Gregory a glimmer. It's an awkward shot, one far away to go through Anderson. It's a possibility, a nasty one. Desperately needing this 76 shot. Double top, whatever he needed in this chance to get down here. And that picture told a million stories. Anderson for the kill. Double 12. Double 6. It's getting melodramatic. Here it is. Well, I know that one. Gregory seemed to be sailing. Missed his doubles in the first set. Anderson stepped in with the big torpedo. And Bob Anderson, the holder, on course for a hat-trick. And you have to sympathise and feel commiseration for...